Hey guys, this is Shane with Jealous Amount Doors again. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of an upgrade for our archery target. We're going to be building the backstop. Uh, we're going to be using a 4x6 horse stall mat that's a 3 quarter inch thick, a couple 2x4s and some leftover 4x4s from a fence. Alright you guys, before we do any cutting, we're going to go ahead and verify our measurements. Alright folks, you can see that uh, our repurposed 4x4s are, are pretty much just that. They're going to be recycled. These are pretty much rotted off right at the ground. Uh, but we went ahead and picked them up and we're going to reuse them for our, our uh, horizontal base pieces. Uh, and just a couple treated 2x4s. Uh, the longer the better. If you can get some uh, single 12 footer, you can just cut that in half to 6 foot and that should be fine. Uh, we're going to be hanging it vertically instead of width wise. Um, I found that that's going to be a little bit better. And of course we have to have it free hanging so it can absorb some of the energy from the bow. So let's go ahead and uh, start marking some stuff out and getting stuff cut. And it measured six and a quarter so we're going to go six. Yeah hold on. We're going to go to six and three eighths. And uh, a big safety tip. Anytime you're going to use power tools make sure you, use, you read the owner's manual. Um, Eye protection and ear protection are usually a must. Alright you guys, so if you have the money, go ahead and invest in a uh, impact driver. It's going to speed a lot of things up when you're, you're doing building projects. Um, so I'm going to be using 3 inch exterior grade screws. Um, Easiest way to do this, just set them down to 45. Now you're going to want these to be flush on the top and the back. second one we're just going to come down a little bit lower uh, to give us a little bit extra bracing because these uh, these mats are pretty dang heavy so word to the wise is uh, build it where you want it <laughs> and, and don't try to move it because it was definitely heavy good let's uh, let's go ahead and see if I can't just shoot the uh, the backstop to see how well it uh, how well it does 
So with a with a full power bow dialed all the way up, we could probably get it all the way down to the uh, to the fletching. But for the most part. Oh man, I tell you what, it, it definitely don't want to come out. So, uh, word to the wise, it definitely don't want to come out. <laughs> we, we might have to get a hammer and pop them from the other side. And that was, I mean, like two inches in. That's not even anything serious, you know. All right, you guys. So that's the uh, that's the completion on the archery backstop. Um, this thing might actually stop a 22 subsonic, but uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I will say that you probably want to build it where you're going to put it because this thing is absolutely um, a pain to move around. But anyway, like always, do it outdoors.